Hello traders, welcome to Pro Buy YouTube channel. As promised in the last video, today I am going to show how to develop a bot for this comment. Here he is asking, create a bot that trades every volatility index and only runs after a specific entry point. The bot should trade both over and under, but it must switch volatility indices after every trade regardless of whether the trade is win or a loss. So at the end of the video you will see a bot like this which wait for a specific entry digit and place digit or trade on a random volatility index with the given barrier. Here we will give entry spots and we will set barriers and the symbols to choose the market randomly. In our real account in trade table we can see the bot has placed alternatively digit over and under trades in random markets. You can see the number here 10, 25, 50, 75. Likewise, the bot has placed trades on random markets. This is not something that we can do with normal Derive bot, but using Derive API, we can do that. And ChatGPT helps us to do all of these things. In next video, I will show how to develop a bot for this comment using the normal Derive bot platform, not an API bot. Here he is asking, can you please create a over under auto switching bot that alternates between over and under markets regardless of whether the contract win or losses with an adjustable martingale block. Today we are showing how to do this part using Derive API bot. In next video, I will show the same thing how we can do in normal Derive bot. Okay, let's start today's bot development video. I will show you how to develop this using Derive API template and ChatGPT. Here is my downloaded Derive API template. To download this, you can find the link in the video description. I'm going to open this code in Visual Studio Code. I'm copying this path. I'm opening command prompt and I'm changing the path to the copy path. Here I'm typing C O D E space dot and press enter to open the folder initial studio code. Now let's go to chat GPT. Here in ChatGPT, I'm typing my requirement. I need to create a bot with below conditions. I need to change the contract. Need to change the contract type alternatively between digit over and digit under. Then need to select Then need to select a random symbol from this symbol list. Symbol means the market here. If you want to know the symbols for every market, you can go to this website. I will post the link in the video description. Here in this blog post, we can see the symbol for every market in Derive. For volatility 10 index, it's R10. For 10 one second index, it's this code. So likewise for TG25 it's R25, for TG25 one second index it's this code. So I will provide this list. I want to select the market randomly from this market list. This 
this is the symbol list from volatility 10 index to volatility 100 index so our next requirement is we need to provide the entry spot and a prediction number in derived bot development using api we call the prediction as the barrier so we we'll type barrier list i will provide random six digits one eight three seven two nine and i will provide random entry this particular digits also If this list is over, we need to start from the beginning. This barrier list or entry spot. Last digit list is over. Start from the beginning. Need to change the contract type alternatively between digit over and digit under. Need to select a random symbol from this symbol list. Barrier list is this. Entry spot list is this. You can you can change these numbers when developing the bot. If barrier list or entry spot last digit list is over, you need to start from the beginning. Now I'm going back to my API template. Open the initial studio code. I will take this place straight but I will copy entire file then going back to chat say this is this is my place dot py Then I'm taking trade.py also. I'll take the entire content and I'll copy it. Just it here. Give me the full code for both files. And let's send this. I will copy this place trade.py from here and come back to our code and replace the content in this place trade.py and save it. Going back to chat GPT, I will copy the trade.py and coming back to our code, replace the entire content in this trade.py to the generated code. I will save it. Here we can see entry digit list we provided. Even we can now edit this from here also. Let's enter another one. Six. That will be enough. And here in this place thread we can see the given symbol list and the barrier list. Let's add another one here because we had our one to the last digit list. Let's see, sir. Okay, I will save this and I'm going to run dot py and I will run this. Let's see. Okay, here we can see what is running and waiting for last digit 2 to appear. It's because we have given digit 2 as our entry digit
Here yeah, our stick is given as 2. So both will place $2 trade. First trade placed with digit 2 hour volatility 50 index and barrier 1. Yeah, here we have given barrier S1. And after entry digit 5 appear, both placed digit over trade in volatility 50 index. Let's stop this bot and test whether this barrier is correct or not. I will stop by pressing Ctrl plus C. Bot is stopped. Our last trade has been placed on volatility 10 index with barrier S3. Let's go to our bot platform. Okay, our last trade is okay. Our last trade is placed on multi 10 index digit or trade, and our prediction is three. As same as the logs in our terminal. Let's see the trade before that. It's a digit under trade volatility to infra index with barrier 8. Volatility to infra index under 8 and with this take of 2. So that means, as per the recommend explaining this comment, the bot is working. And so, as you see now, it's very easy to develop Dura API bots using ChatGPT and it's very fast execution as well as this is untraceable because we are running this outside the Dura platform. And if you have any requirement like this for good development, you can comment below. If I see good strategy in comments, I will show how to develop that strategy with a video. In my next video, I will show how to develop a bot for this comment using normal derived bot platform, not a derived API bot. Thank you very much for watching.